my brothers and sisters, the responsibilities within marriage are such that it is, it has become today like walking on a tightrope. That was not supposed to be the case, but today it's like walking on a tightrope because we have technology that comes to interfere with the knot. We have the environment that comes to interfere with the knot. We have so many things that come to interfere with that knot. So how you use your phone would actually break the knot or tighten it thoroughly, properly. Meaning it would reinforce it. If you have the correct use of your mobile phone, correct use of your eyes, that would also strengthen your marriage. Imagine, imagine there is a nude woman walking past and like I said, figure like a trigger. Do you know why they call it like a trigger? You know? You pull a bit and you are shot. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Really. Tamper with it and the bullet goes straight through. Allahu Akbar. So remember, imagine if there is a woman who's walking past and she's absolutely nude. Your wife is with you and she's watching. And you look down and you don't even look up. And she looks at you and looks there. Wallahi, she will feel in her heart, hey, this man, mashallah. You know, he, and then you look at her a little bit later and you say, mashallah, darling. You're gorgeous, mashallah, gorgeous. Today we heard a new word, aerodynamic, mashallah. Wow. You know, BMW does not stand for be my wife. No. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. May he bless us. Really. I hope looking down was out of the fear of Allah and not out of the fear of your spouse. May Allah bless us. So we cause it you will never get to the woman who walked by but you said a lot about yourself you made a huge statement to your spouse that you know what i don't look at you this way but I... <laughs> allah forgive us really allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen us may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from temptation don't think you are too grand and powerful and strong anyone can fall ask allah to help you to protect you from temptation Ask him and ask him every day and he will protect you. Allahumma adfa' anna al-ghala wal-waba wal-riba wal-zina wal-zalazila wal-mihan wa su al-fitani ma dhahara minha wa ma batan. The dua of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam includes the dua, Oh Allah, take away from us, keep far from us certain things, inflation and this and that, and one of them is zina. Keep away from us, Ya Allah. I'm a human being. I don't want to fall. Ya Allah, keep it away from me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen us. Trust me, we achieve nothing from adultery and fornication. We achieve lots of goodness through our own relations, our spouses, our children, mashallah, spend time at home.